Very well, let's get started with uh, creating walls with auto join and lock. This is a new option that is available when creating your wall. Okay, you have the auto join at the top and then you have the auto join on top of that, you are able to lock it to the particular face that you're actually aligning to. The new placement options are joined wall automatically joins walls with adjacent to the adjacent one or a joint and lock. It joins and locks the adjacent walls both to one another. The inserted elements such as doors and windows will perforate both walls. Now this option is not available for walls that are structural, face-based, stacked, or curtain walls. Now by face-based, we're talking about walls that are derived from a massing surface that was is actually one of the options and I will show that when we actually start to take a look and see how we create these walls and we go ahead and allow them to join and lock. It is also available for slanted and tapered walls, but they do not lock. Very well, let's see how these things work. Okay, for this demonstration, we've created a project that has already a section through which we're actually going to draw our wall here so we can take a look at the, what's happening in section. And we already also have a 3D view so we can see what it looks like once we actually insert items and things such of that sort. So to start off, we go ahead and create a new wall. I'm using something that is not structural, so I'm going to go ahead and use the basic generic 5-inch wall. And I will automatically say join and lock. And the reason I'm using join and lock because there is something that we need to look at a little bit later on when it refers to actually not slanted walls as much as tapered walls. So let's go ahead and draw our very first wall. Okay, oops, uh, let me just uh, undo something here because I think I did something that I went ahead and invoked tapered. I don't want to do that just yet. So let's go ahead and redraw our wall here. Okay, that's our first wall, and we want to go ahead and align a wall to this one right here. Let's um, actually move this section back a little bit here, place it there, and so let's go ahead and make this actual section boundary a little bit deeper so we can get up to look at it a little bit better. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create our other wall, which is a, a secondary wall, join and lock. It's to For the join and lock to be able to work, or even the join, you need to be actually aligning to either an exterior or interior face, and you have to understand which way you're actually drawing. We know that if we actually start our wall here and look down towards the end, okay, being on this side, then our exterior is going to be looking at the end on the left side. So if I go finish face interior, okay, which is the one I'm going to select now, this will be joining the bottom of the wall to the top of the wall that's already there and existing. Once we draw it, you will notice that you don't get two separate walls as you would, let's say, for example, in this fashion. Okay. As you can see here, you see you have two walls. You probably have to do some sort of a boolean uh, to actually get the same result, but this is a little bit faster and easier. Okay, let's go ahead and move this. Uh, let's see the section here. So we actually take a look at it in a better way. Maybe stretch the wall a little bit. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and place a, a door and let's go ahead and place a window. So let's go for a door right about there. Okay, well, it opens up both of them very nicely. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit longer. And let's go ahead and place a window to the outside, obviously. And there it goes. If I actually change these both of these walls here to uh, separate walls, um, let's go ahead and switch this one to... Um, uh, no, that's actually I, uh, because it doesn't work on stack walls. This is correct. So let's go ahead and take a look at this in section. Okay, as you can see, let's go ahead and make this one a little bit shorter so we can see the difference between the two. They're actually being cut. Let's go ahead and move the section here a little bit further in so we can see the opening. There we go. Back to the section. As you can see, it's actually opening it up very nicely. Let's uh, see if they, that, there we go. Shadow allows us to understand it a little bit better. So, okay, so here we see the doors being opened, if, uh, opening both walls. If we actually go to 3D, 
we see that not only does the door open both walls, but also the actual window. One thing I do have to uh, actually bring to your attention is to create an opening here, right? So let's go ahead into the openings, wall opening, and I say, okay, this wall, and I start my wall opening. Notice what happens. Wall openings don't perforate both walls. I can perforate the other wall and then, you know, give it the illusion that you're actually perforating both walls. But the truth is that you're not. Okay. Notice what I did. I actually had to pick the back wall after I picked the first wall. So please remember, doors and windows perforate both, but openings have to be done on each separate wall. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on to something different, which is how tapered walls will behave in this particular situation. Now, we're saying tapered walls. We're not talking about slanted walls. So let's go ahead and do a couple of things here by erasing this wall here. Notice because we placed it on, the, on that particular smaller wall, it, it deletes it from both of them. Let's go ahead and delete that. Let's go back to level one and let's go ahead and now let's go ahead and add another wall. Let's give it this, make this one a, um, um, let's go ahead and make it a generic. Let's duplicate that. Okay. And let's call this one uh, tapered. Okay. Let's go ahead and say okay to that. Okay. And let's say, say okay to this. And let's invoke uh, the tapered option. Oops, I misspelled tapered. That's quite all right. Okay, let's go ahead. And now, when we actually create it, I'm going to say join and lock, okay? Let's go ahead and join and lock. We said that it doesn't work in join and lock. That's true, but not necessarily all true. Why? Because, be, because we're actually um, going to go ahead and say that the wall alignment is in the face interior, as we had stated before, okay, and that this is actually going to have an exterior angle taper of 15 degrees, let's say. Okay, so when we actually come in and do our new wall, Notice that it's allowing me to do it. When I go ahead and draw my wall, it allows me to do it. Now, the question is, why does it say that you're not allowed to do that? See that? It's actually locking the faces. But the, the answer is very simple. If we actually look at this, okay, in section, and let me just go ahead and make the top section a little shorter so we can see the difference. The reason why this is working is because this is a vertical side. And because we tapered the exterior, then the interior is a vertical side. So the verticals actually align properly. Okay. So that being the case, is it true that it doesn't work? And uh, the uh, actually a uh, uh, join and, uh, and lock doesn't work? Yes, it, it doesn't work if this. Both of these angles are different from the vertical. Okay, then it doesn't work. But because they're they're equal, it works fine. All right. So please be aware that that is one thing that is actually happening here. Okay. And the nice thing about this, if we look at the 3D, is that we can actually go ahead and make some very interesting uh, little oops, uh, cancel that little interesting little uh, items here. Uh, let me just do that from the top instead. Okay, and let's go ahead and move, the, not, not move that side, let's go ahead and move this point. Okay, this is actually not giving us the uh, desired result. So let's go ahead and delete that and uh, because it is locked. Okay, so that, oh, um, let's see actually something interesting. Since we're actually on the subject, let's go ahead and make sure that these two points are equal. Okay, and let's see if we can actually switch, make this, uh, no, it, it's going to give us an angle and then we're going to disappear. So please remember that there are some modifications that will not actually work on this. Okay, and that being the case, this being it. And now we're having a little bit of a, uh, okay, yeah, that was a graphics problem, nothing more than nothing less. Okay, once again, if we act, add a door here, it will work just fine. Okay. Remember, we have to change the offset, obviously, to actually make it uh, go into the proper place. And if we actually add a window, 
Okay, it should also work right fine. Remember, this problem is based on the offset. You can offset it in deeper into the wall, and then it should work quite fine. 